Mike Shepard for this week's theme song. Mike Shepard, thank you so much. You are you're crushing it, my friend. Oh, so topical too. Uh, this is Hot Minute. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jamie. And today's episode is all about tall all motherfuckers. About tall. If you listen to last week, we were talking about Wynn Butler and Lee Pace. Yeah. And they're like fucking tall. And we were like, you know who else is tall? A lot of people. A lot of people. And then we thought, you know what? If we had a bunch of tall people, what if they fought each other? Wouldn't it be really funny if all these people who are approximately six foot three to six foot six and above, like fought, like yeah. and, like melee style, like punching, yeah, physical fight? And we were like, let's do a bracket. Yep. So this is the first annual 2020 Hot Minute Tall Brawl bracket. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna give you more details as we go. And again, this is Hot Minute. Uh, this is the podcast where typically we talk about who is hot and why, and sometimes we get off topic. Like tonight. Like today. <laughs> oh, but that's fun. It's going to be real good. I'm not oh. making any promises except that I fucking promise it's going to be so good. Oh, man. Man. That's it. Uh, so you can follow along. The whole thing is going to be going down on Instagram mm-hmm. this year and our website, hotminute.com, H O T T minute.com. And if just you like at- fan participation, bitch, we get ready. got you. You like tall people? We got you. Uh, but other than that, before we jump into the tall guys, Jamie, quick question. Yeah. Who are you crushing on? I thought you weren't going to ask because this week's a little bit Ooh, wacky. It's a little bit different. Um, but I do have a crush. It's a little topical. I won't spend a ton of time on it. But my crush is celebrity couple Dwayne Wade and mm-hmm. Gabrielle Union, who um, very recently, due to the internet and just being badasses, uh, came out in very like vehement public support. It's been happening over a while, but like they went on Ellen or Dwayne Wade was on Ellen. He's a famous basketball player. Gabrielle Union, you may know from Bring It On. Of course. Um, and just being... America's one, sweetheart. Just being one of the most beautiful people on the, girl the planet. Next door. Yeah, she's beautiful. They came out in support of their transgender daughter <gasps> that was born biologically male, has transitioned to female. And I just think it's really badass that not only are they being public about it, but also he's a huge sports celebrity. She's a huge actor. And yeah. it's like this huge, really cool thing that they're being not only just like, hey, this is happening but like going out of their way to talk really be good parents just basically be good, yeah. to be good parents but literally I was watching the interview it was Ellen I saw it too I saw it too yeah, yeah like Ellen talking to Dwayne Wade and he kind of was just like yeah I love my child and I'm going to support my child and like we are going to make mistakes and we don't know what we're doing but neither does my child and like this is my family yeah, and yeah. like if you don't like it I, you're not in charge of my family I am and so Boom. And they've literally probably saved like hundreds of kids' lives. I love that. I love that's it. Love. Anyway, so that's my crush. Good um, crush. Good also, crush. they're very attractive. You see, I knew Gabrielle like by sight. Like I could, yeah. you know, start walking down the street. But Dwayne Wade, I, he's not someone that I'm like super Dwayne familiar Wade with. Dwayne Wade was just all over the NBA All-Star tournament that just happened. And he's fine. He's yeah. so hot. He dresses really well. Uh, wore some like cool ass glasses. He was judging the slam dunk competition. <laughs> he looked great. Can imagine him like pushing his glasses, yeah. like inspecting <sighs> the dunks with his glasses. He did some controversial stuff as far as judging goes, but I don't know the difference, and it's fake, so it doesn't <laughs> matter. Um, but Home anyway, run derby, great yeah. dad, cool, cool, um, cool. So that's mine. So Ashley, yes, Jamie. Oh shit, it's on the tip of my tongue. What mm-hmm. is it? Um, okay, we talked about what I like. Listen to the song. <laughs> I talked about. The tall bra. Oh, um, who are you crushing on? I'm so glad you asked me because mm. once again, it's not a who. <laughs> it's a what. Oh, Ashley. You know what I'm crushing on? No. Dates. <laughs> and I'm like, not talking about like going to the movies oh. and dinner dates. I'm talking about the fruit, Ooh. the delicious date. Mm. It is a perfect food. Mm. Everyone, every single date has 10,000 calories in it <laughs> because it is a it is a pure sugar. sugar. It's just sugar, but better. It's like God sugar. It's so good. Ugh. It's like the it's is it the most delicious thing in the world? Many say yes. Yeah. It's also uh, like a biblical fruit. Is it ever biblical? Why, well, you know what? I have somewhat of a Bible story to share with you about the what? date. So obviously the date appears in the Bible like a lot. Yeah. Like I Googled it. It's like 30 <laughs> something appearances. But in the Quran, there's a story about the Virgin Mary giving birth to baby Jesus. <laughs> so the like Jesus story is slightly different in the Quran. Okay. And Mary's having like birthing pains, mm-hmm. like which makes sense. Yeah. 
I'm glad someone is finally she's saying it. She's in a it. fucking barn. So she's she like goes 14. outside and she's like struggling with like birth pains. And then God, Allah, is like, actually, hey, hold on to this date tree. And then I'm going to like drop some dates down Ooh. on the ground. And so Mary like eats the dates and she's like, oh, I have the strength to go on now. And lo and behold, that's how she gives birth to Jesus because of dates. So there wouldn't even be Christianity if there wasn't dates. And she's like jacked on sugar. She's so jacked on sugar. Yeah. She, she need that energy yeah. to like go over the hump. I love it. I and love it. Am I saying that dates are the foundation of like society? Maybe. Maybe. I wasn't there. Um, one last date related question. Do you wrap them in bacon? No, I just <sighs> eat them straight. I just go to the turnip truck and I just get them in the bag. Ugh. I mean, you really do not want to eat more than like two at a time because they will like, I mean, it's sugar. It's like a handful of sugar, but better. That's how I want to die. Do it. I want to die. Uh, I want to die. Generally. I want to die by getting beat up by a man <laughs> over six foot four. Whoa. Like, whoa no, cut that part. <laughs> cut that part. I don't know. I was trying to transition. <laughs> I want to die at how much traffic we're going to get to our IG for this fun bracket. Oh, boy, is it ever so much fun. You know, what's funny is that when you think of sports, when you think of sports fans, you think of us. You think of Jamie Without and a Ash. doubt. Without, without a, a doubt. doubt. When you're like Dwayne Wade and uh, the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think of me and Ashley. And, you know, so a few weeks ago, it was our first episode of this season, we offhandedly sort of just fantasized about the actor Lee Pace and the musician for lead singer of Arcade Fire, Win Butler, beating each other senseless. Because they're both about the same height, which is big. Which is just big. And so then that turned into us thinking of 60 some odd. Or, I don't know, however many it takes. Whatever, like 16 people are in four categories for a bracket. So then we just thought, like, let's find a bunch of other tall people and just talk about their hotness and rank them. So for the tall brawl, we're not going to see them today so what we're gonna do is just introduce you to all the players in the fucking game yeah and we've got four categories mm-hmm. ashley lay them on us what are our categories of tall people jamie we've got string beans mm-hmm. beefcakes of course lumberjacks slash prospectors, prospectors and other <laughs> parentheses tall, tall. Um, so how it's going to work tonight is like we're just going to go through each category. So we're going to go through our string beans. And then, I don't know, you want to pick like two or three notable, like your top picks. Yeah, in the yeah, string yeah. Be- like who you think might take it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like strong contenders. Yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. Okay. So one thing going in, I want you to start with the list with your man right here because you oh. wanted this. It was very important that this man be on yeah. the list. So Ashley took the liberty of making a list and I was like, there's literally no one in sports on it. We just had to cut Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> We had to cut Charlemagne. <laughs> Ashley found, of course, people that are in like, I don't know, his historical tall people. And I was like, what about a basketball player, <laughs> a.k.a. a profession of just very tall people? So my first sort of entry into this before we built the list out was Minute Bowl. Mm-hmm. I don't know what team he played for. I don't care. 80s basketball player. I remember Minute Bowl the best from... Celebrity Boxing, which was a Fox show that aired in like, oh, 1997, featuring Minute Bowl versus Refrigerator Perry from the <laughs> Chicago, whatever. Bears? Yeah. They boxed. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. Seared in my memory. Favorite show on TV. Tanya Harding, I believe, either beat up Paula Jones or Darva Conger. I, I can't I remember. Know. You know what? It was Paula Jones was Paula because Jones. I can remember. Yes. Yeah. One of the best shows on TV. I would love to do a, just a celebrity boxing episode. <laughs> but I was like, Minute Ball's got to be in it. I think he's literally like 7'10". 7'7". 7'7". He is by far the tallest man in our bracket. But yeah. like, is he going to take it all? I That's the question. So if you're doing a tall brawl, literally a brawler, literally a taller, <laughs> literally a baller. Oh, uh. But can he fight? He literally fought yeah, but, did, but did he win? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Well, Refrigerator Perry also almost was like dying of probably heart failure at the <laughs> okay. time. So whatever. <laughs> um, so anyway, that was the number one. And then we're just going to rattle through the rest of these. And then Here's... Minute's already obviously a top pick. So. so rounding out our string bean bracket, we have mm-hmm. Abraham Lincoln. Classic. Groot. Mm-hmm. Nicholas Braun. Uh, from Succession. From Succession. Yep. Cousin Greg. Wiz Khalifa. Mm-hmm. RuPaul. Better work. Clint Eastwood. Horrible. Conan O'Brien. Fun. Howard Stern, but a.k.a. Buttman. Yes. Howard Stern, a.k.a. Buttman. Snoop. Mm. Avi. 
Daniel Stern. Yes. Jeff Goldblum. Of course. Michael Gross. Yep. Bob Saget. Mm -hmm. Succession co-star to Nicholas Braun, James Cromwell. That he plays his grandpa. That'll do. (laughs) (laughs) And Donald Sutherland. I will say when we put Donald in this group, I was like, I don't know if he's a string bean. I feel like he's more of a lumberjack. Uh, (laughs) We talked briefly about having like a daddy's category. Yeah, I don't know. It probably would have been everyone in the end. But yeah, my Donald Sutherland memory that's seared in my childhood memory is me watching Animal House way too young. And just you see his butt. (laughs) Do you remember that? I've seen Animal House like once. You see his bare ass. And I was like nine. And I was just like, why does he not have pants on? Why was I watching that movie? That's a very good question. Who do, you, who do you like? Who do you like for a string bean? Okay, so who I like for string beans? I mean, obviously, I like Wiz Khalifa. Like of all the people on this list, besides Minute, he might be the thinnest. And when I think of a bean, I think of a hair caver. Like I think of a string fucking bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a little legume might pop out of his arm. I would definitely say he is the stringiest. He's the stringiest of, of all the beans. The, so I don't know how that'll help him when it comes down to the fight. Like even if he's got the height, you know, because oh, again, keep in mind, it's like he's like six three or above. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so who's who's our strongest like <sighs> fighter? I mean, in this category, James Cromwell maybe. That guy seems so fucking angry. Yeah. I, on that end too, like it's more like who can't fight. It's like <laughs> Snoop can't fight. Clint no. Eastwood can't fight. See, like, I disagree. Clint Eastwood will shoot his opponent in the <laughs> face. No guns. No, okay, you know what? Maybe you have to do it like in a loincloth. Like there's no weapon. I mean, is like, he is he up against a minority because he may get them deported? Yeah, Clint versus RuPaul will be like something. But to they're see. not going to face off. They're in the same category. Necessarily, necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we also don't know how brackets work. Jeff Goldblum. I don't know. These I guys mean, are mostly older, too. It's like Nicholas Braun and Wiz Khalifa are the youngest. Yeah. I mean, I will say Nicholas Braun, as far as just Braun mm-hmm. goes, he's, you know, not 50. Honestly, like, of all the fighters, now that I'm looking at this, like, Groot, obviously. Groot is, like, a made out of wood. Yeah. He could kill you with a splinter. Could he, just, like, yeah. yeah. You could die of, like, sepsis, or he could literally <laughs> kill you. I don't know. I also don't know what kind of tree he is. No. So he could, like, poison you That's in some true. way. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. I don't know. Howard Stern, a.k.a. Buttman. Um, I do think as Buttman, perhaps... Formidable opponent. Indeed. Beefcakey. We we almost put him in beefcake. We cake. did. And when he's in Buttman costume, he's beefcake. Oh, wait, a fart man? Was it fart it was man? Fart, wait, was it Buttman? <laughs> fart man? It was fart it man. Was fart man. <laughs> I do not remember much of like 1995. I don't remember anything from childhood, but oh. I loved that. Yeah, so good category. Good Bob category. Saget and I have the same birthday. Ooh, that's a fun one. So I am going to root for him just a little bit, mainly because, you know, growing up, we thought he was a docile man. Turns out he's a dirty bird. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't either. Okay, so again, so think, we're going to yeah. walk you through this online, but String Beans again. We got Manute Ball, Abe Lincoln, Groot, Nicholas Braun, Wiz Khalifa, RuPaul, Clint Eastwood, Conan O'Brien. Howard Stern, a.k.a. Fart Man, not Butt Man. Snoop, Daniel Stern, Jeff Goldblum, Michael Gross, Bob Saget, James Cromwell from Babe and Succession fame, and Donald, I saw his butt as a young child (laughs) Sutherland. The important thing to our listeners at home to remember when is when we're voting on the bracket. It's not for like who's hottest. No, it's, like, it's not for like yeah. who, who, which tall person do you think is more attractive? Like who would you rather sleep with? It is who do you think would win in a fight? Honestly, though, let's do a little pass. Let's do a little pass. <laughs> I would. Okay, just between I, like Clint Eastwood and Conan O'Brien. Just oh my to pick god, these random Ashley. Two. Oh, just between just, Conan O'Brien. Assuming that Clint Eastwood doesn't shoot him in the face. Yeah, Conan. Okay, but how? Okay, Bob Saget and Michael Gross. Michael Gross. Michael Gross. Michael Gross. Michael yeah, Gross. you see, I don't know why I know that, but I do, you and you agree know. with me. Abe Lincoln and Groot. <laughs> I guess Abe Lincoln because he has a penis? I mean... <sighs> Groot's all I I, Abe Lincoln will chop you down, right? Because he like lived in a log cabin, and he'll just turn Groot into That's a house. true. But Groot's always <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to beefcakes. Beefcakes. All right. I was real proud. This is a really good category. This is a very good category. This one, I want to spend a little bit more time yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just take it from the top. top. Beefcakes. Josh Duhamel. Oh, former husband of Fergie. Former. Former. Army Hammer. 
just posting just weird fetish materials on Twitter. And just think every time Army Hammer posts, he's doing it from like a six foot five body. Yes. He's Isn't so that funny. It's and how, how small is his phone in his hand? Well, you know that he is the grandson of Armand Hammer. Yes. The Arm and Hammer fortune. I, I know. I know. I hate. I know. You know what? what okay, moving idiot. on. Seal. Uh, Seal. Kiss from a rose. Ben Affleck. I mean, we had to put him in the beefcake category just because Batman. It, it made sense. Yeah, he, uh, I mean, he's right above Tom Selleck. Do you classic really? beefcake. Classic beefcake. Also horrible Republican. Uh, Tom Brady. Also horrible Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. theme. Joel McHale. Joel McHale. We felt very strongly belonged Oof. in the beefcake category, even though he is a thin man. Mm. But I just remember those episodes of Community where he was like showing off how good his arms were. Yeah, he's fine. Jason Momoa, who is probably going to be the number one beefcake seed, and yeah. very likely will take this whole thing. Right, right. Like, I mean, he's in a Super Bowl commercial where like the joke is that he's skinny and not strong. What? Okay. Yeah, when you play like a god. He's like literally a- played a god. And he's married to Lisa Bonet. Psst. So hot. Like he's got to be doing Stupid. everything right. Josh Homme, the lead singer of Queens of the Stone mm-hmm. Age, looks like Elvis, sort of. Ginger Elvis? Ginger Elvis, which is like kind of hot. I see it now that you say I it. Think I've it's never like, really thought about I've it I've always before. thought it's like a, a physical improvement on actual Elvis. <laughs> He's got, he looks. It's like Harry Potter Elvis. <laughs> it's like, he seems like the kind of guy where it's like all the other heavy metal guys probably think it's not fair because yes. he's so good looking. He's so good looking. And like, uh, you know, I'm not like a giant Queens of the Stone Age fan, but like they have some good songs. There's some like there's melodies some, here there's and there. Some things. Yeah. Okay. We can't pronounce this. Joe Manganiello. Joe Manganiello. Joe married to Sofia Vergara, mm-hmm. werewolf. He's a werewolf. Joe Man. is, he's very similar to Jason Momoa, like, body Literally, I get them confused. Yeah. They, except one of them slightly looks, a, like, Jason Momoa looks a little bit more aware, <laughs> like, he, lucid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got more of, like, a, like a mischievous face. Yeah. Like, he's, Jason Momoa has, like, a rakishness about yes. him, he's where like I little, would not say that that is no, true of Mangiello. Joe Mangiello is like, Joe Manginello. hey, I couldn't get this can open. <laughs> Like he's just, honey. Hey, hey, do you want to so- go work out? Hey, Sophia Vergara. Hey, can Sophia. You, can you I help- got you a Peloton. <laughs> Sophia, help me open this Rotel can. <laughs> Sophia, we're having a Super Bowl party tonight, and I invited all of my friends I'm- over. We need to work out it in the morning I instead invited- of the evening. I invited Josh Homme. <laughs> That's Joe Manganiello. Obviously, Hulk. Speak- Tiny dick ruined Gawker Hogan. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> apparently a very tall man. I actually never perceived him Me as either. being tall. I thought of him as just like just big. an average size guy. Same. Ugh. Matthew Modine. <laughs> Normal. Very. <laughs> when Jamie went like, Ugh, did you expect her to follow that up with Matthew Modine? <laughs> because that may be my favorite part of the episode. That was good. <sighs> God, just you see, I don't have any opinions on him. Like I know what he looks like, but I, I don't really I have so many opinions about him. He is just I mean Yeah, I mean <sighs> type in young Matthew Modine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Modine Young. I mean, I get it. He's just kinda like just a babe. What's that movie where he runs around in the like sweatsuit? I don't know if I've ever seen a Matthew Modine movie. Uh, Madonna Against All Odds was written as the theme song. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't remember. <laughs> He's very hot. He's the best. Um, Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> oh, wait. I have seen Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. That is the only Matthew Modine movie. And I saw it once. And I was like, that's enough. Here's the deal. The guys that look like Matthew Modine never want to date you. It's the guys that look like Vincent D'Onofrio in Full Metal Jacket that want to like date you. In my experience. David Hasselhoff. German pop star beefcake Tall. and internet meme since like that dude has managed to stay relevant like i think he could take it all he's like in the spongebob movie yes. as an example of like i'm a be- he's troy mcclure yes yes oh my god i've never thought of like 
David Hasselhoff is sort of infallible. I say that he's probably going to be me too tomorrow, but like I, I just like, I mean, I mostly just from the worst thing about him is like his he's like an alcoholic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like but you remember video, that video? Yes, yeah. Him eating the hamburger. But his daughter filmed it. It was yeah. like his daughter being like, "Dad, you have a problem." I and filmed then, my dad eating a hamburger drunk. I don't even like <laughs> Reese Christmas. Um okay. Number 14 in this category, The Rock. Also might take it. Also might take it. The Rock, as we've established, season two will go down on a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proudly. Mm -hmm. Proudly. Loud and proud. Loud and proud. Dolph Lundgren. Don't care, really. I mean, I he's he's the robot Clark. in the in the movie. <laughs> What's the movie? Robot movies. Space Runner, Blade Runner. No, is that, that the is, same guy? No, that's Rudger Hauer. Rudger. Oh, then I don't know who Dolph He's Lundgren is. He's in uh, uh, Rocky. Oh, that guy. The... <laughs> I get them confused. <laughs> He's the Russian guy. He's. He... Oh, I'm really disappointed. I was completely interpreting Rudger Hauer the entire time. I've I would... been writing the name Dolph Lundgren over no, and over again. I would do an entire Rudger Hauer episode. Okay. Um, just no, so we're clear. We're just talking about Dolph Lundgren. Okay, then I'll um, give a and shit. And then last in this category in the beefcakes <laughs> is Tyler Perry. Which I fully <laughs> endorse. Tyler Perry is a beefcake. Like, I don't even need to really go that much on the record because I feel like the photo evidence speaks for itself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sure. He's got a cute face. He's got like he's a he's he beefy. He's beefy. a beefcakey kind of guy. He's not. A, he's certainly not a string bean. Tyler Perry. I write all of my own movies, aka I know. Okay, but did you? Oh, okay, but did you see like Gone Girl? Like, have you seen him as like an actor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's. I don't. What was that political movie he was in? I was don't know. it? I literally will never know. He's in the one with Sam Rockwell as W. Whatever that one is. Oh, Vice. Vice. He was in Vice. Oh, I guess he does play Colin Powell. I think he does. What? Or he plays someone on the staff. I only saw, I saw half of that movie. What? In That's passing. wild. But First of all, I do not believe Colin Powell is over six foot four. <laughs> Actually, I think I bet. How tall is Colin Powell? Okay. Look it up. We may have to. We need to write him in. Fuck you, Dolph Lundgren. Colin Powell <laughs> height. 6'2". Sorry. Sorry. Bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Little tiny little baby. Fascist Put you in my fucking pocket. Sucker. Put you in my pocket, pal. Um, anyway, he was in that movie. He was pretty good from what I saw. <laughs> I can't remember the character he played, the name of the movie, uh, or if he was Colin Powell or not. I don't know. He might have just been like assistant to the president, Jonathan. I don't know. Um, next category, Lumberjacks. And slash prospectors. Explain, explain that. Well, the prospector thing sort of came up naturally in the discussion process. We were labeling the men as lumberjacks, but we we came across one who's a little bit older. Yeah. And I was like, I feel like you age out of the lumberjack, lumberjack. once you reach like a certain age, like a little, enough yeah. white is in your hair, you are now a prospector. Yeah. And you're like painted for gold. You're like, oh, God, you can't, stop you it. can't, you can't be like chopping the trees down anymore. No. So you just waddle your way down to the creek and start panning. I'm panning. panning. I'm panning. I've got a pickaxe. And my overalls are XXXL because I'm six foot four. <laughs> you can see my booty like Donald Sutherland when the button pops off the oh, back. God. Let's request Donald Sutherland's booty as a picture on the thingy. You hear that? that? You hear that? Webmaster? <laughs> Editor? All right. So Lumberjacks. Obviously, we're starting with LBJ. Hell yeah. Whipping <laughs> that Johnson out. Literally, it's called a Johnson because of his giant... Is that where it comes yes. from? I never... It I is, never knew that. A big dick is called a Johnson. Because he's the president of, who was always like, look at how big my dick yeah, is, right? He, just, like, he like, literally was like taking bonk. it out. It's just like a bonk. <laughs> like, bloop, bloop, Eleanor bloop. Roosevelt's come to visit the White House, <laughs> sir. Well, let me show her. Uh, <laughs> Here's my ding dong, idiots. I'm going to get in my amphibious car and drive around. Um, he's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, former President Lyndon. Big Bain? dick. <laughs> yeah, Baines. Johnson. Like Lorraine Baines. Okay. All right. Next. Number two on the Lumberjack Prospector. William Wallace. He was apparently tall. I googled like tall people, and it, and they were like William Wallace was fucking tall. I don't know how they know that. Right. Um. They find he was body? less tall after they chopped off his head. Ooh, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. In London, you can go to the site of mm -hmm. William Wallace's execution. It's near Spitalfield. It's like where the <laughs> meat market is. Anyway, yeah. but it's like fucking nothing there. There's like, it's a parking lot, and yeah. then like. 
a sign on a building, yeah. which is wild to me because it's like he died. Here's a spot where someone was murdered, which is so weird. And like literally the only thing I know about Spitalfield is like one of my favorite brands is based there, <laughs> which is like All Saints. Anyway, mm. um, um, Scottish, Scottish guy and dead and portrayed by horrible racist and misogynist. So that's cool. John Corbett at the corner of Happy and Healthy. He is Chris in the Morning. <laughs> Sicily, Alaska's best radio DJ. You wake up, crack a dawn, <laughs> go out to the well, turn on some Chris in the morning. He's going to be reading Proust to you. He's yes. going to be taking calls from like lovelorn Sicilians. And, you know, of course, you know him all as Aiden later in Sex in the City, where I still can't get it going for Aiden, but objectively now as a grown adult I'm like of course he was the best one he was like a good person and not like a cheater didn't he literally like make furniture yes. like wasn't that his whole thing he was like, like a he's sexy like... carpenter that loved Carrie and put up with all her shit and so then you she have cheated like on him. a real skill yeah he's like a skilled attractive sexy yeah. kind loving but man but he didn't like vote for Bloomberg so she had to break right. up with him or whatever like Just I don't remember Mano- sex in the no, city no she fucked uh, Mr. Big she yeah. The key. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Finance. Terrible. Trace Atkins. I don't know anything about Trace Atkins. Trace Atkins is <laughs> routinely on the Bill Maher show. <laughs> Wait, what? I know. What? Oh, God. But in a oh. weird way, one of the only, I mean, I don't even really watch that show, but I feel like the like seven episodes I've seen have had Trace Atkins That's on them. That's bizarre. And he's like kind of smart but then like sort of conservative and granted this is like me watching the show like seven or eight years ago before everyone was like a crazy fascist so i don't know if he would still align with that side you know what i mean like i don't know i don't i i honestly i don't think i could even pick him out of a lineup i I got nothing he's got like a real real like palsied mouth (laughs) (laughs) nice man nice fella (laughs) tall you know who I could pick out of a lineup, though? Who? Is Craig T. Nelson. Hell yeah, Who, bitch. honestly, I feel like might take it all as well. I don't know. I just, I think he's formidable. He's angry, too. There's <sighs> like a, there's an anger. Coach was one of my favorite shows as a child. Could I tell you anything about it other than it's him? And, he was a coach. And Jerry, uh, what's his name? Van Dyke. Jerry Van Dyke, the lesser <laughs> Van Dyke. No, his wife had curly hair hilarious show was it college football it was basically college football wings and i loved oh, it oh yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, that makes sense the year fun. was 1993 and that's what we and did and we were all just loving wings <laughs> wanting different versions of it on tv brian mcknight do i ever cross your mind anytime i didn't know until researching this that brian mcknight was so tall i didn't either good for him Way to go. I envision him in like late 90s tight mm-hmm. long sleeve shirts. You know, they're like tight, like a male blouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like not yeah. t- like not yeah, yeah, cotton. Yeah. Like I, I can just see his like pecs, but like not nipple, but like upper yes. part of pec. You know who loves Brian McKnight? Um, Hot Minute guest extraordinaire and a theme song contributor Larissa Maestro from previous seasons is a big Brian McKnight fan. Oh, did not know that. Yep. Pretty cool. Well, let's get her some B-sides. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's great. It's all right, Ashley. Where did I go? I'm like jumping. To be little bitty, little old town on a big old city. Might as well share, might as well smile. The life goes on and a little bit. Alan Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> also very tall. Also tall. We, there was controversy about where to place Alan Jackson. Way down yonder on, on the, the Chattahoochee, Chattahoochee is where I said. Um, That's what I know. But I was like, you know what? He's a lumberjack. He is. A, I, I wanted to put him in string bean. I, I, was like, I, I argued mm-mm. for string bean. No, but. I was like, that motherfucker is on a jet ski riding to a tree, <laughs> cutting it down. That's what he's doing. He's got a rooster tail, fat ass rooster tail and a jet ski spinning out and then being like, let's cut some trees down. Did you know that if you took his mustache and put it on top of his head, he would grow another three inches? <laughs> Counting the mustache, he's technically like six five. Honestly, like I think, think he might be a, a sleeper. I think, he sleeper could, I think he'd fight dirty. Mm-hmm. I think he'd fight dirty. I think he'd bite. Alan Jackson has something to prove. He's I'm like just I'm nodding not, my head. He's up like now. I'm not nice. It's not all right to it's be. It's a competition. Also, motherfucker's so tall. I just sang a song about him being a little bitty. <laughs> Why is he singing that? He's trying to trick us. <laughs> I don't like that. 
Mick Fleetwood. <laughs> yeah, also pretty tall. Just um, tall. I, 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 you, you shared some good pictures of him too. Another string bean, sort of on the fence. He's string beanie, but he's like he's gonna get like super coked up and like he's like a freak, right? He's a freak. Okay. A leak. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And the thing, he's got that drummer energy, yes, which is chaotic. Manic. Drummer energy is chaotic. We have learned this with Animal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone knows. He's going to cut down a tree and then, like, fight a beaver mm-hmm. and then, like, cheat on somebody and then, like, be like, drum solo. He's going to beat on him with his big drum arms. Yes. John Lithgow. He's like a poet lumberjack. How do you feel about John Lithgow, generally? I have nothing but positive feelings about John Lithgow. If something, if I find out something disappointing about him, I'm going to be upset. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Do you know, too, that, like, I feel like he's the only actor that could have been in Harry and the Hendersons from a pure stature standpoint and comedic timing? (gasps) Oof. I'm going to look over this list again and maybe see if I can disagree with you, but I don't know if I'm going to disagree with you. The only other person is someone that's coming up, and I'll mention him when we get there, if I'm not drunk. I feel like also John Lithgow is, like, the kind of, like, he's like a good husband. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see I feel like he'd be a good husband. Honestly, can I say that one of my favorite TV shows, I love Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, it my is boyfriend loves it. Underrated. He's, I never watched it when I was growing up, but Davis had it on in the background every now and then. And I'm like, this isn't it's too bad. And he's funny. and then he just rattles off the cast to me. He's so like, You funny. got a problem with French Stewart? You got a problem with Jane Curtin? That's the one. That's the one. Jonathan, what's his name? Joseph Gordon-Levitt was a horrible child actor, which is one of the most fascinating parts of the show because he was really, really bad. And you've got to think it's like he was the best one to audition. Right. Kristen Johnson is really funny, and I'm Johnston, and I'm kind of like sad and surprised that her career didn't go further. Okay, so the other show my boyfriend watches is Mom. He Mm. fucking loves Mom. She's on Mom. Kristen Allison, Johnson is on mom. Because she's tall and gangly. If we do a females only version <laughs> of this. By the way, we did discuss females, no inclusion. Females. Because the tall, the height was so tall. There were only a few people that even. There were only a handful. And we just didn't want to get into the like, why are they fighting? Is it cool if Manute Bull beats up a woman? Probably right. not. Like, like, And then it was like not real actresses. It was like. Like dancers who had been in one movie or, or something. Or it was like, uh, what's her name from Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. It was like Brienne, Brienne of Porth. And it's like, oh, fuck off. Just her name 64 times. Allison Janney, though, just a normal tall woman's thing. So, yeah, we could do women like six feet. Yeah, we could do six feet for we could do six sure. Women. I'd be like, yeah, I yeah. want Allison Janney to rearrange Carly Kloss's face. Because men really do top out typically at like 6'2". Yeah. Like 6'3", is, but it's like 6'4", is too much. Like, it's too much. It's too much tall. It's too big. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, Brad fucking Garrett. Talking about sitcoms. Speaking of husband material, oh, I would marry Brad Garrett tomorrow. And my life would be better in every fucking <laughs> way. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. If I were to marry Brad Garrett tomorrow, all of my problems would disappear. Ashley. <laughs> uh, will you marry me? Yes, Brad. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And then he beats up John Lithgow. <laughs> He was on a show that I watched like three episodes of where I quit watching it. I don't even remember the name of it. It was on ABC and it was about like all these parents of like kindergartners. And he was, he, it was like a recent show where he's like, I'm the 60 year old father of kindergartners. And it was like a Gee, whole it sounds thing. like your life would be awesome. <laughs> Based on this TV show. With Brad coming home and, and he's Brad like. Brad are not going to have kids. We are going to have dogs and we're going to travel the world. <sighs> Whatever. That's all right. just how it is. Next up, speaking of, God, Lumberjacks has a lot of like middling sitcom stars Jason Siegel <laughs> I mean it's a type it's like it a is. car it's like the flannel the flannel face the flannel type you know it is what it is Jason Siegel to me is like probably going to be a, a lower seed I don't know how to talk about yeah. this yeah he looks like he has like a overactive sebaceous glands on his face. He's got really <laughs> greasy skin, but I also have really greasy skin, so it means fewer wrinkles. But just you know, he needs greasy. A, he looks like he needs a blotting. He paper. looks like he would fight with his eyes closed too. It, I don't feel like yeah. he would actually fight. I feel like he would like close his eyes yeah. and just kind of swing his fist he just and not like, try to like. Or he'd punch. be like, "Oh fuck this, whatever." I'm gonna get high, and then he would <laughs> immediately get murdered. Yeah, on, in the ring. We should all get along, and the next thing you know. Craig T. Nelson has got a fucking hey, uppercut. <laughs> Craig T. Nelson, you know he's an old dude that has like sinewy uh, forearms. And Craig T. Nelson probably got into some like alley fights like in the yeah. 60s. Like, you know. Craig T. Nelson is 
definitely like casually watching like a football game and pumping iron. Like he's just sitting there on the on like a sectional. Is he one of the racists? She was, you know, I don't old think he's racist. racist. Okay. No, he's like had. I mean, who knows? They're I, it's hard to keep racist. track. It's who hard knows? to keep track. Okay, Sinbad. I saw Sinbad. Oh yeah, recently. I'm just take this one over. When I say recently, like in the last five years, with a friend. <laughs> I saw Sinbad at a local comedy club, and he probably had like I don't know. He pro- his set was probably like two hours. I think he had conservatively fifty minutes of material, and then he was like, "Fuck, <laughs> this is a long time." And so then he just did Q and A, like we were like, "Oh wow!" Like, and it wasn't funny. <laughs> was it entertaining? I loved every moment of being there, and it, I was just eating chicken fingers, watching Sinbad be like, "Well, you know, I don't know about Medicaid." Like, it was did he seem like, imposingly tall to oh you? Oh my god, he was his super, physical presence. He was he was everything you want. He was super tall, and he was wearing a taupe silk mm. like pantsuit, matching top and bottom, and the yeah. top. Easily was longer than my whole body. It's so hard for me not to envision him in like those early '90s shirts that are like oh, different yeah. color yes. blocks. Like it's so hard for me well, to like not see him. And in- Sinbad was so fucking cool on a different world. Yeah, like yeah. that show, I loved everyone. That like I also could do an entire episode. I was obsessed with a different world. Didn't understand how I wouldn't be that cool when I grew up, and I definitely wasn't. <laughs> um, but Sinbad was cool. Sorry you're not Lisa Bonet. Sorry I'm not Jasmine Whitley. Guy. Whitley. Ugh. God. Jesus Christ. I don't Christ. know their real names. You're better Summer than me. Cre- Summer Cree, I believe, was. Uh, <laughs> Cree Summer, right? Cree Summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cree Summer. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing like, I was uh, like calling roll um, for, at the school. So I actually saw <laughs> when we were going through this, um, I accidentally put Brad Garrett down here twice. <laughs> <laughs> so I just replaced the second Brad Garrett with Charlemagne, but <laughs> we can, uh, but we can put on anyone else. Honestly, like, Charlemagne's just, fine. Whatever, yeah, whatever. He Charlemagne is tall. a historical figure from France who was in like the seven hundreds, and he's tall. He probably looks stupid. He definitely fucking shit in buckets <laughs> and didn't brush his teeth, and then just threw his doo doo and pee pee on the street without a doubt. Um, Liam Neeson also. <laughs> There was a dude who pee on, on the street. street. <laughs> Liam Neeson. I don't have much to say about him. I mean, he's, he's handsome. popular. Everyone he's, likes him. He's popular. He's handsome. Super sad when his wife died. I hope he fucked a bunch mm-hmm. of people. I hope he's like happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just hope his wife died and he like got it in and he, had fun. He's. I feel like he'll also do really well in our bracket and just life. Well, because of like Taken, like when you think of like tall people fighting, everyone's like, oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. He's probably like number one. I don't really think of him as being super tall, though, again, in my head. This is another thing where I don't. I think of him as being like absurdly tall. Really? Because I think like I feel like if if he's like Clive Owen height, I feel like he's like six foot ish to me in my head. I don't picture him as being like more than that. And I'm wrong. I will say I the next the next person I feel this way about Danny Glover. Mm. I was coming down the stairs, the escalator. So it was the stairs were moving. I wasn't <laughs> um, at the movie theater in Nashville, and I was by myself. I was just like, I'm gonna go to the movies. It's like I was single, going down the escalator, and all of a sudden, and it was like totally dead there. I think it was like a Tuesday night. And I look down and Danny Glover is just pacing around alone in the Green Hills movie theater. And we make, made eye contact and I smiled and he just was like tipped his like tipped his fake hat at me. Aww. And I was like, why is this happening? Why is Danny Glover here? <laughs> and I had so many questions. And like, I just think about it every time I see him. That's I love it. that. It's not even a great story. Just Danny Glover just milling about. Is this like down by the bathrooms? <laughs> like, Yeah, he was standing in front of the bathroom. He was waiting, claw- waiting for someone. He was waiting for someone. There was a claw machine. It was clearly like during like all the movies were airing. And so what I like to think is that there was like some special showing of a thing that he was probably in and he came and did like 10 minutes and then was Mm. like, fuck, I don't want to sit here and watch this. I have no idea if that's true and never verified it because I'm lazy (laughs) and probably watched like Cars 2. But now I'm choosing to believe that Danny Glover is specifically the kind of actor who doesn't like to watch himself. I don't know anything about him. Which makes you like him. But now I'm making this up in my head. Same. He's probably like terrible, but I... Like, all these things. I was like, his energy was good. He's another one I didn't know until research was super tall. 
Me either. I, I would no never idea. know. No idea. So very last person, Ashley was adamant that this person is very tall. And like, I know he's tall, but I guess like. You see, and this is one where it's like he's tall in my head and in my life. It's yeah. like he he looms large in my psyche, if you will, as a tall man. And that man is Tim Robbins. Okay. Like, I just feel like when you're thinking of like tallies, <laughs> when you're thinking tallies. of tallies, when you're thinking of tallies, you'll, you'll think of Tim. Tallie Tim. I, he's got that sort of like. Frankensteiny stoop mm-hmm. to him. He seems slouchy. So Tim Robbins has always been really fascinating to me because he's like a sexy guy that I think is attractive that has Nelson Muntz's nose. Like he has like a pug nose. Have you ever noticed that? Who's the guy who plays a racer hat? Jim Nance? Jack, 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 Nance? Jack Nance. That's yeah. what he looks like. See, and I just think he's like, he's his own face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he has the face of this other guy. No, um, Allah from your Bible story gave him a different face. <laughs> Um, praise him and he's tall. Anyway, yeah, great guy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're in the final stretch here. Other tall. This is a grab bag category. This is in the a, truest sense of the word. Let's read them off. Randy Quaid. Edward the Fourth. Chewbacca. Blake Shelton. Kevin Nealon. Modest Yahoo. Property Brothers. <laughs> Stephen King. Chevy Chase. Chris Novoselic. Novoselic. Thurston Moore. John Cleese. Vince Vaughn. Thanos. Lee Pace. And Wynn Butler. Oh, boy. Um, I love this category. This might be my favorite one. I just <laughs> want to quickly say, I, I, you know, this is about fighting and who can fight yeah. best and who will win. This category. But if y'all haven't looked up Modest Yahoo in a while, holy shit. He's, like, really hot. First of all, let's all take a moment to say I would fuck Modest Yahoo. Indeed. Indeed. I don't know. I mean, cosine. Yeah, he's super fine. Uh, Yeah, before we get into fight, honestly, of all these, Modest Yahoo could get it. Property Brothers, fuck off. I mean, I would Lee Pace. He's gay. Lee Pace is hot. I would win Butler. I would not. We looked up a picture before it started. He looks like Orson Welles ate someone at the Opry. I would. He has he has really poor vision. Stephen King. Yeah, <laughs> he has macular degeneration. Stephen King seems pretty sweet though. He seems, seems all like, right. He seems like a nice guy. He seems all right. I don't couldn't <sighs> tell you what Edward the Fourth looks like. Google him. Let's okay. see if he's cute. Is that Edward the Confessor? Which one is that? I think. Well, or is that the one who abdicated? Is Edward the Fourth? I don't even know which one. He is not even one of the big ones. No, he's nothing. So I'm a direct descendant of Henry the Seventh, and he looks like if you took him and just sort of blew him up with your hands in like a. No, okay. Uh, he's one. He's one of the ones where I know more about the women. Yes. In this line, where this is like some Wars of the Roses shit, where yes. I know about like Elizabeth Woodville exactly. and people like that. So I don't know about him. Elizabeth Woodville, my grandmother, as we've. Established is the Edward the Seventh, like a direct descendant of Elizabeth Woodville, right? Like his mom is her daughter. Is she okay? So Edward, Edward's just over here, just dicking around, being tall. Let me see what he did. Was there any? He was king of England from 1461 to 1470, so for nine years, and then again from 1471 until his death because of I think wars he was like a huge the, dick. I don't know anything about him. I think he was like not nice, but he was like sort of uncontroversial, which I'm sure there's a lot of them like that. Um, so let's just say he may not win a fight. I don't think he's a big pussy. I don't think he's going to win any fights. I don't think he's going to win any All fights. All right. Let's talk about who we think will. So first and foremost, Randy Quaid is fucking insane. Yeah. He'll bite an ear. He'll bite a nose. He'll oh. gouge an eye. He'll fucking knee a dick, man. Randy Quaid Randy ain't Quaid, scared. Randy Quaid versus Chewbacca. Chewbacca is so much bigger than Randy Quaid. Yeah. So much physically bigger. Also, I don't know what kind of like strength Chewbacca has as an alien, so he could possibly like rip that is limbs true. That off is true. Of people, he seems very strong. I mean, obviously, a clear contender for winner of all of this is Thanos. Yeah, I yeah, will yeah. say that we should probably qualify it's Thanos without the glove, with all the mind stones. Isn't that a Brolin? Isn't Thanos one of the... Yes, he's a Brolin. Yeah, yeah. So let's say it's Thanos without all the stones in the little glove. Like, it's just him, like, as a normal... It's just, like, purple-ass Thanos. Purple-ass dude. Kind of being a little sexy. basically, like, Grimace from the McDonald's Playground Friends. With, like... Like Powers. some protein power. With some pro- protein shakes. Protein shakes. Blake Shelton, inert loser. <laughs> yeah, Blake Shelton <laughs> is not going to go anywhere. I mean, even if it, oh my God, if you put like Blake Shelton up against even the Property Brothers, like the Property Brothers oh are going to take him. It's not even funny. Property it's not Brothers, even funny. Wait. We put them together. They're both. 
We thought about putting them as individuals, but it doesn't matter. Can They're I together. tell you that one of them is dating Zoe De Chanel? Yes, which but, immediately makes him gonna lose. And the other one is I don't know, know. named. I don't like know which one. Brandon? I don't know who. I don't know which one it is. Brent. I don't know. Brent brother is that his name? I'm just gonna pick two <laughs> random names from this whole list, and you tell me who and when. Okay. John Cleese. Okay. Daniel Stern. John Cleese. Hulk Hogan. Charlemagne. Hulk Hogan? Yeah, I think so. I mean, but Charlemagne might have a sword. That's true. Oh, we haven't talked about weapons or anything like that. Is this just fists? I think it's just, this is like pugilism. Pugilism, like, okay. I think Charlemagne also could win because he probably is going to be really confused. Just at the <laughs> as, presence of Hulk Hogan as a human being? As a time traveler, I think Charlemagne would be so scared he might do a great job in a fight. That's completely <laughs> fair. Not outside the realm of possibility Charlemagne th- might think Hulk Hogan is some sort of demon or yes. like sprite or like. Yeah. Yeah. Wood nymph, yeah, possibly. He's probably going to do some sort of like weird prayer. And oh, he's then... going to get down on both of his yeah. knees and yeah. do like the full deal. Full deal. Hulk um, Hogan's going to do the same thing too, but he's going like, to call oh, God brother. Brother. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, Hulk Hogan's going to be like, oh, fuck. I am actually not that. I can't actually fight. fight. I just yeah. learned how to like dance and fall down. Yeah, exactly. And That's like mean to wrestling. Rip, rip my shirt. Oh, well, you know what? Speaking of mean to wrestling, I mean, Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. The Rock. The, the rock. rock. I mean, it's this is the best thing I've ever done this bracket. God, this like, is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll give you one. Thurston Moore mm-hmm. versus RuPaul. <laughs> um, I definitely think RuPaul will win. I would. De- I don't even RuPaul. Not only would RuPaul win, RuPaul would deserve to win. Yes. And Thurston Moore would have it coming. Thur- yeah, agreed. Agreed. All right, let's do another. I'm going to do another for you. LBJ okay. versus Stephen King. <laughs> I mean, LBJ. Yeah. LBJ, for sure. I don't sure. even know if Stephen King is, like, able-bodied. Stephen King got hit by that van however oh, many years yeah. ago. And then he was, like, really, like, his whole body was broken for oh, a while. That makes me sad. But he's got, like, evil powers yeah. of, he like, the conjure, outer realms. But LBJ has evil powers of, like, Vietnam War. Of, like, napalm. Yeah. Yeah. But Stephen King could, like, write a scary story. <laughs> and just, <laughs> <laughs> he could be the spooky fight. Was LBJ alive for Carrie? Was LBJ still alive when, like, Carrie came out? <laughs> Do you think Carrie scared LBJ? He's like, man, the scariest He's thing like, is a chick on the rag. T- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking for Here's my giant dick. Okay, let's get into the bag. Bag. So... Just stay tuned. Hotminute.com. H-O-T-T minute.com. Also, follow along on Instagram. Yes. We are going to figure out how you'll vote in this bracket. We'll figure out all kinds of things in the meantime. We literally figured this shit out in like five minutes. Or and it was ago. really fun. Yeah. I'm just going to give two more for you real quick because it's funny. Okay. It's so much fun. Okay. Jason Momoa and Randy Quaid. Well, okay. Momoa is a bad <laughs> one. Did you see, like, uh, I'm so Reed. convinced Momo was going to take this entire thing. Like, Honest? it doesn't matter who he's up against. Honestly, like, like, literally what you just said, I could see Randy Quaid actually hurting Jason Momo because he would have, like, sarin gas. Yeah, and, like, like again, <laughs> if we're talking dirty fighters, so, like, I don't think Momo will bite anyone, but I think Randy Quaid will bite. I think Randy Quaid would literally, like, physically brand someone with his own initials. Like, he is gonna fight dirty he thinks everyone is an alien oh my god they're all out to get him they're all out to get him yeah and he's got that sidekick his wife yeah starla i don't know (laughs) okay bag we're we're gonna do one bag and then we are gonna just think about tall brawl okay did you grab do you want us to each do one or do you want me to do it you do one okay just do one one and if we don't like it we'll do one more okay (laughs) i've got a name here who emmy lou harris that's like a really good one (laughs) Now we're done with fighting. We're just talking about hotness. Emily Lou Harris is a complete babe, of course. It's like, isn't Emmy Lou Harris the one, you know, living as we do in Nashville, Tennessee, surrounded by all these like fabulous countries? Isn't she the one who has like the animal yeah. shelter sheep? Okay. I mean, that's the main thing I think of when I think of Emmy Lou Harris I is how she's, she takes in like old dogs. She takes in old dogs. She's beautiful. She she's was, stunningly physically beautiful. She's still beautiful. Her whole thing, right, was that she was like sort of the like sexy chanteuse that was involved with the Graham Parsons, I think was her whole thing. Listen and and like two of her 70s albums, she's got pretty voice. She has she's, a beautiful voice. She's got striking looks is yes. the thing. The gray hair, the she, silver hair. She's like. absolutely beautiful. Um, She was in a group in the 80s with Dolly Parton and Linda Ronstadt, That's which right. was like super badass. 
hilarious meme going around about that the other day. The biggest thing about her, yeah, she's got the dog thing. Mm -hmm. She's physically beautiful. She's got some great songs. I love, there's this song that she does with Bob Dylan. And I'm not, I'm going to go ahead and tell the listeners on there. I'm not a huge Bob Dylan fan. He's fine. I don't get the hype. But there is a song that they do together called One More Cup of Coffee. And maybe it's a cover. Maybe it's old. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking care. I'm not like going to Americana Fest. I suck. <laughs> Love that song. I think it's really cool. Yeah, she's beautiful. And she's fucking friends with Dolly Parton. Yeah. Like Dolly Parton ain't going to, you know, God don't make no junk. She's not going to hang out with Emily Harris. Yeah. I you mean, know? I just like, I like her. I basically feel like she's always had like, if you put mom jeans on a Barbie, like she's always just had like the perfect sort of high-waisted denim. She's really, just in these past couple of pictures that I'm looking at, she's sort of transitioning into, like, coastal grandma oh, look, yeah. you know what I mean? Where yeah, it's, yeah. like, lots of long tunics yes. happening yes. and things like that. Yeah, um, she's she's a babe and a half. And has always been, like, she's kind of just stayed... She knew she was a babe. Look at this look on her face. Oh, yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, Emily Harris... We're just looking at this young picture now where she's like, yeah, she get fucks. It. She fucks. Emmy Lou Harris fucks. Like, without a <laughs> doubt. I don't think we need, yeah. I mean, that's not a controversy. But she's a get. Like, she's a get. Like, without a doubt. Like, she fucks, but like, not everybody. Mm mm. Mm mm. You gotta work. Ugh. You better work, RuPaul. Who might take it all? Who might take it all? Okay, so one more, one more cup of coffee before we go. Out of each category, pick your fave. Pick your fave. String okay. beans. Oh, my God. Are we talking to win it or just my to favorite win it person? All. To win it all. Like, out of each category, who who would be your number one? In string beans, honestly, I think Nicholas Braun is going to be a good contender. My number one string beans, RuPaul. Yeah. Number yeah. one, Beefcake. Uh, Momoa. I'm going to do The Rock just to be different, but I think Momoa's got a good shot. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lumberjacks, Prospectors. This is such a weird category. <laughs> this category this is so, so weird. I don't know. <laughs> Probably LBJ, Fuck. but also maybe Brian McKnight because he's like yeah. the youngest one in Brian this McKnight category. Is, <laughs> Brian, Brian McKnight, McKnight and a cry, cry 52. 52. <laughs> Literally, we just, yeah. <laughs> Brian McKnight at 52, going to take it all. I was going to say LBJ. I'm going to go with Charlemagne just because I like the idea of him as a time traveler that yeah. is confused and murdering. Other tall category. I'm going to go with Thanos just based sh- yeah. purely on like brute strength. I get that. In magic. Uh, I feel like Chevy Chase will be a dirty fighter. Ooh, I feel like Chevy oh Chase God. will scrap. I feel like Chevy Chase will like do some real fucking like shit talk to psych you out yeah. psychologically. He'll like yeah. talk about like your dead family. He'd and do then, like, like a go bump. It. He'd do a bump too before He'd, the fight just mm-hmm. to make sure he's like a up bump and up. off the key to the city. Like. Yes. All right, y'all. It's the Tall Brawl. Tall um, Brawl 2020. So the Hot Minute, first annual Tall Brawl. Big Boy Melee. Big Boy Melee. Please, please, please jump in. Let us know who's going to take it all. Who's going to be the best? Who do you think are the best fighters that we've listed? Who do you think are the worst fighters that we've listed? Who do you think is going to fight dirty? Who do you think is going to fight sexy? Let us know. Who do do think, internet. Who do you think is the hottest? Of everyone on the whole entire list? Oh, my God. Jamie. <sighs> I mean, the right answer is Jason Momoa, but my right. heart, that's not my heart's answer. Matthew Modine. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. God, it's super fucked up, but I watch so much Raymond that I might have to go with fucking Brad, Brad Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. 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 All, All right. right. Thanks, guys. 